Alex, thank you very, very much for being here. I think I don't have to read this. You are well known for your machines and your fashion and your prof professional way of presenting. It looks like that you are merging now a decoding, coating, decoding also with into your um, technology of laser. Uh, your topic is streamlining production with laser PVD decoding, rapid digitization of plaster models. Stage is yours. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's time, I think it is mm -hmm. increasingly important that not only do we enhance our sustainability, but also keep in mind that we need to be efficient and uh, reduce cost. And because of that, this uh, topic is called streamlining production. Before we jump into the presentation, a quick word about myself. My name is Alexander Aminidis. I am the head of uh, business unit Mint and Print, working for Access now there more than 10 years, actually. And I also have an engraving background, which I'm proud of. During this presentation, we will have a quick look at the company Access. Who are we? Then we will talk about the efficient loop. Um, then you will see two new developments, the RIS, the rapid area scan for digitizing your plaster model. And also then we will talk about a little bit more about uh, PVD decoding with laser, which adds directly to the presentation you just saw from the Bavarian statement and inner code. And in the end, we have a quick summary. So who is Access? We are currently the market leader for laser technology in the mint industry. We also have multiple patents, just to name a few, is the pulse forging technology to polish your surface with laser um, using femto technology and, for example, the randomization for frosting to imitate a sandblasted surface. Access has two national locations and three international locations, which is Access UK, US and Access in Austria. Last year we celebrated our 20 years anniversary and even in that short time we were able to sell more than 2,000 machines worldwide. The headquarter of Axis is in the city of Kornwestheim, which is in the southwest near to Stuttgart, and our research and development as well as our factory is uh, in Midweider, which is approximately in between um, Leipzig and Chemnitz. With a wide network of various partners all around the globe, with our headquarters in Germany and with our international sites, we're able to sell and support the machines. And it's also worth mentioning that, for example, a lot of our partners and our uh, in, uh, international sites, they have all their own service team and their own service staff, which makes it very easy and convenient to dispatch people all around the world. So, the efficient loop, what do I mean with that? I think in the end, in order to be efficient, uh, one of the things that we can do is to simplify things to make it easier uh, for your production and uh, to, to apply multiple steps, even for example, with one simple machine. So with what is already state of the art that you have seen from Access over the last few years, and in combination with what you will see today, I think we have found a very good loop and makes it very simple for your production. We start with laser digitization of plaster model, apply direct laser engraving and all the other applications. Now we can also do laser PVD decoding, and in the end everything is super easy because we work very close together with Kafka and have direct interfaces. So let's jump into the first new development, which is the RAS, Rapid Area Scan for digitizing your plaster model. With previous technologies, you only had a simple or single measurement and you had slowly but steady had to scan the entire plaster model, which takes a very long time, as you see now in this example. So we scan the entire plaster model using a single information. It takes long, resolution is good though. And with the new RAS, instead of having a single information that we scan slowly but steady, now we can scan a line. We use similar laser technology as well. We project a line that allows us to scan a whole segment that we can stitch together, which makes it much, much faster, as you see now in this example. So because this technology is now so much more faster, now it can make sense to integrate the scanner into your laser engraving machine so you don't need two separate systems. And I'm happy to announce that if you have an access machine with micron precision, if it's a used one or you have it already, or if you buy a new one, you can upgrade it and you can choose the RAS now as option. For the RAS, there will be two versions. There will be the standard RAS and the RAS HD, some of the information you see now on the screen. What are the advantages? Obviously, the biggest advantage is the speed. It is so much faster. It's up to 30 times faster to previous technologies. 
We also made it so that it's very customizable. So you as the operator can choose the line width that you want to scan. So you can either choose to have a smaller line, more segments, higher quality, or you want to have a faster procedure, then you have a, a bigger line width and then the scan is faster. The software will not show you what is the um, time for that scan, but it will also give you a live feedback of what is actually scanned. If you combine this technology with our camera systems, it's also very easy and um, very quick to set up your scanning process. We always work open source. That means that our scanned information is stored in a simple TXT file and any modern CAM or CAD software can open and use that information. But we even made it more simple for you. We have a direct interface with Kafka, just a couple of clicks, and then you have the data open. You can start to work at your art, which is very important. Here you see a direct comparison. On the bottom you see a real plaster model. On the top side you see the scanned result. And all these fine details of the plaster are transferred from the plaster into the digital world. This example, it had a diameter of 180 millimeters and it took only 15 minutes to scan. So the second topic, you heard about it already, um, is laser PVD decoding. And it was a fantastic project because it was driven by a mint. So the Bavarian statement had this beautiful idea, and then we invested a lot into perfectionizing the laser setup, the laser parameter, to get a perfect um, laser PVD decoding. We use a combination for the best results with picosecond and femtoseconds in combination, and not only can you remove the um, PVD coating with laser, you could also reapply a silver shiny looking effect with our pulse forging technology. Here we have a sample on the top left side. You see the um, sample, the material still has its original PVD coating. On the top right, we applied our decoating process. And on the bottom, you also see when we did the decoating and added our pulse forging process. And when you look at a zoomed out window, look at the details. There's still every, every detail is still there. It's sharp, clean, perfect. You don't remove anything. You don't alter anything. The design itself is as it was in its original state. It's also an interesting process, not only when the dye is at the, or the coating is at the end of its life cycle. What happens, for example, if the dye or the coating did not work in the beginning? In this example, someone touched the sample. Of course, we did that on purpose. But you see here there's a fingerprint, so the PVD did not stick to the surface. Usually what you're doing, you throw it away, make a new one, which is a waste. But with the decoding technology that we invented, you can recover that dye, you can repair it, so to say, you remove the wrong PVD coating, and then you just do a new one. A lot of these samples that we did, and a lot of the processes that we developed, we did send to uh, the university in Sofia, and they um, did a lot of studying on it, did a lot of measurements uh, to it, and they confirmed to us that we can remove the PVD coating perfectly without leaving any residue whatsoever. There's also a scientific paper that exists on that. If you want to see that, please approach us. And um, as we also hear today, it's also possible to reapply a PVD coating after you removed it, which is basically very important. The best results by far we had with the femtosecond laser. Some of the PVD coatings can be removed with traditional nanotechnology, but because it creates temperature, it's very aggressive to the surface, the results are not the best. So use the femto for this one. So in the end, what this brings to you to the table is that with one single solution, with one machine, you can now integrate multiple processes. It makes it very easy. First, you start with laser digitization. It's very easy and very simple. There's no post-processing. We can transfer it to Kafka and back to the laser. We can do laser engraving. All the other applications like frosting, gradient frosting, rainbow, microtexting, your imagination defines what is possible. And then in the end of the life cycle of the dye, it comes back to the same exact machine that you started with, and now you can also do laser PVD decoding. So it's one solution. It covers a lot of problems. And I'm almost at the end of my presentation. Now I want to show you a short video that shows you and explains to you how easy it is to do laser digitization with the new RAS. Enjoy.
So for, for me personally, and also for the company, it is very important to stay very innovative. I think you figured it over the last couple of years. And it's not just to throw out innovations just to have them. It's, I think they need to make sense for you and for us as an industry. And we want to show you a path of what is possible with modern laser technology that is tailor-made for this industry. And this path should definitely lead you to our booth D4. Thank you very much. Thank you for your presentation.